Hey, what's up? Let's see what's been happening in the news. Winning an award is usually a good thing, except if it's this next one. Aussie consumer group Choice has just handed out its most anti-prestigious prizes, the Shonkies. They give in to the products that Choice reckons shoppers should stay away from. First up, we have Freedom Foods Exo Crunch, the cereal that boasts a four-star health rating having no nasties and a source of fibre. But according to Choice, you'd need to eat between six to eight bowls to get your daily recommended intake, by which point you will have consumed around 14 tablespoons of sugar. Oh, I can just use the same bowl. And the same spoons. Then there's the IKEA fridge that uses more energy than it says it does and doesn't quite manage to do the one thing a fridge is meant to do. Choice reckon that unlike, say, a fan, it won't keep its cool very long, which means your food won't last very long. Hit it. Oh, wait. Hit it. Other winners included a superannuation company for their high hidden fees, an electronics online store for their poor customer service, and pet insurance, because the TNCs make it nearly impossible to make a claim for your furry friends. Now here's an award you definitely want to win. Three scientists have just been awarded the Nobel Prize for Chemistry for creating the lithium-ion battery. They're the rechargeable batteries you probably use every day because they're in all of our portable electronics, phones, tablets, laptops and even power tools. Decades ago, the three scientists helped to create the technology and made it safe and more efficient. Now their work's been recognised with a Nobel Prize. And at 97 years old, Professor Goodenough has become the oldest person to win the award. Well, that's good enough for me. Most of us agree that dogs make us happy. But did you know they could also make us live longer? That's what a new US study says anyway. It looked at decades of research and found that people with dogs were more likely to live longer than people without them. And for people with heart problems, the results were even more positive. Scientists reckon that could be because people with dogs tend to get more exercise by walking them. And they say dogs can also help with issues like loneliness and anxiety. OK, so picture this. You rock up to tennis training and instead of your normal coach, you get the number one tennis player in the world. Sounds pretty cool, right? Well, it sure was for some lucky kids in Cairns. They were the surprise guests to the Barty party. Ashley Barty, that is. The Indigenous superstar and current world number one spent a morning swinging the racket with some young tennis hotshots. I'm very excited to be... Um... Uh, Ashley because she's a real good role model for me. It's part of a program run by Australia's first Indigenous world number one, Yvonne Goolagong Corley. We're getting more Indigenous kids actually playing the game and putting, putting more kids in schools. And it sounds like it's already working. Doing something like a sport after school, I wouldn't just be laying at home being lazy. I'd be out on the tennis courts and being active. But these kids have got some serious game too. And what do they want to be when they're older? To be world number one like Barty. All right, take a close look at these next stories because they're not what they seem. These might look like normal sneakers, but trust me, they're not. These are holy sneakers filled with actual holy water that was blessed by a priest. They had a price tag of around 4,500 bucks and sold out in minutes. How dare you? When activist Greta Thunberg made that speech to the UN a couple weeks back, I wonder if she imagined it being turned into a heavy metal song. Well, that's different. The American producer who made this banger said the Swedish teen just really inspired him. Holly the bear has been crowned the biggest, fattest bear around. Huh, what an honour. It was all part of the fat bear comp in Alaska's Katmai National Park, where bears are sized up and voted for on social media. Holly hasn't just been pigging out on salmon for no reason, though. Brown bears stack on the kilos before hibernating through winter. And with her size, it looks like Holly will be just fine. 
Well, that's about all the news for today. But before you go, comment below and let us know your idea for the craziest sneaker you can think of. Hmm, so many options. Also, hit that subscribe button and you can also turn on the bell button there so you get notifications every time we upload an episode.